Hey guys, now, um, so Ziz and I have been here, we've been rearranging this room. Uh, we've put in a automatic uh, recycling station over here, so essentially all we've got to do is drop cobble in the barrel over there, and it flows into the recycler, and we've got a timer on the wall, so when, and that's on 60 seconds, or 50 seconds, sorry, and that's just enough time for the cobble to head into the recycler and be recycled with four overclockers in it, and as you can see, we're filling up a barrel with... Um, what do you call it? With scrap, which is going to go into the matter fabricator, which will be here at one time mm, in the future. Um, one thing. Yes. If not to be too picky. Mm. Uh, we can move. To, do you want to move this back one? No, it's in it's an odd position. It'd be odd. I was thinking of moving this down like a one so it's like this part is below the ground just this is sticking up and moving this part like over one because then I can make a two like a two wide path for each of these and so this would split it because if it's yeah, right we here can do that. we can do that so I'll grab out my electric wrench and make sure it's on lossless mode because that would be really here, sad use the use the omni wrench that's alright I've got it I've got it <laughs> and bam <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So you want to move it one more down? Do we have room to go one more down? I don't think I have room to go other, one more down because it's going to show through the floor. Oh, it is. I think I'll have a look because I think because digging downstairs has been um, has been started. Okay, we'll look. It's pretty easy to move, so we'll we'll be able to go. Oh, oh no. Okay. Seems too good. Yeah. All right. Cool. There's also covers from Red Power we can use, so. Yeah, I'm I definitely have... going to be taking this efficiency off the um, <laughs> off that drill. It is just too quick. Yeah, I just I'm waiting for Silk Touch. That's the one thing I'm going to keep. Yeah, I'm going to remove just... stuff off it. I don't know how to remove stuff off it though. How do you know how to take stuff off it? This off uh... the diamond drill. Um, Can you put it in, a, in in an uncrafting table and uncraft it, and then recraft it again? Yeah, I guess you could. Yeah. You said move it over one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I said move it over one this way. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'll just... you just you replaced it. I put oh, it no, down. No. no, I put it in the exact same oh, okay. spot for one down. <laughs> yeah. Just the uh, head should stick up. Yeah. Oops. My bad. All right, um, you've got pretty much all the blocks, or half the blocks, I think. I just, I'm handing it to you, because I, like I said, I'm more into film craft than machines, so I I have no idea how to set that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's actually pretty easy, because it's, um, it's, I guess, I, I yeah, it's, I think this one's a lot easier to set up, because all you got to do is put um, these standard machine casings in the corners, yeah, I'm having a. Tr I'm having. There we go. I'm having trouble with blocks disappearing in my inventory. They're still there. They just disappear, mm. which is weird. Mm. But yeah. So that's that. We'll break all this fi <laughs> brilliant fiber cable. So here we go. Boom, boom. So I'm very excited. We've been saving up uh, all of our uh, UU matter for the last sort of two or three days, and we've got six. <laughs> it sounds kind of sad. Uh, can I break this one to put power to it? I think I have... No, I don't have marble on me. I had that too, marble. Um... Oops. No. Oh, you don't look nice. <laughs> what doesn't look nice? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting... Ah, I'm stuck in the <laughs> hole. <laughs> okay, um... so this is our implosion compressor right here. I might have to move that TNT to this wall, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's not... I think it's actually looking quite good so far. Yeah. And we've got two extra fiber cable. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I told you I could make it work. Okay. It does look kind of, it does look nice. I like it. Yeah. I like it. We're missing a bit of light though in here, I think. Yeah. Put some light like that for now. 
Whew, okay. Brilliant. Um, so let's put this barrel back, and I think... Okay. Oh, no, what? <laughs> I don't like, oh, no. Oh, no, I saw the smooth stone in the wall of marble, and it... <laughs> ah, yes. Get rid of my, that. What, part Oops. of my brain <laughs> just <laughs> screamed at me. <laughs> there we go. Brilliant. We'll, fi we'll fix that in later. Oh, there's... Yeah, I guess there's smooth stone everywhere. Everywhere. All right, guys, so what we're going to do today is... We're not going to fly into the roof. We're going to fly outside, if we can. <laughs> Um, and we're going to grab one of these advanced solar panels and we're going to make a hybrid solar panel. So that's the whole point of saving up all that UV matter. Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> I clicked on the advanced solar panel with the proto wrench and it didn't come off, so. Oh no. Yeah, that made me scared for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a bit scary. Yes. So I've pulled together all the materials we'll need today and looking at some different lights to put into the ceiling before, so we'll look at hybrid, if we can spell, so there we go. Um, you can build the ultimate si hybrid solar panel, but we don't have enough uh, UU matter just yet. <laughs> it's going to cost a bit more than we have, so we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, so first of all, we need to make some iridium plate, as shown here. Bam, bam, bam. Have I done something wrong with this iridium plate? Hmm? Oh, I need to go in a rolling machine. No wonder I'm, I feel silly. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I should take the I should take the items with me as well. Yeah, I can like I was saying, whatever you do, I can make it work. It's fun. <laughs> Sounds good. So be, I'll be Yeah. <laughs> We've found a lot of iridium uh Iridium from Ferrisaur, and uh, we grind it up to Iridium blocks as well in the industrial. Um, was it industrial grinder with helium? No, is it helium cells? Or mer no, mercury cells, and that gives you two old platinum, yeah. platinum dust, which you can create more nuggets with, which is great. Come back down. <laughs> I think maybe we might, one day we might increase the the up and downage of our, of their house. What? Hopefully, the bit making it easy to get up and down. Um, mm. Maybe with a bigger hole or oh, something. Do you want to sleep? It's nighttime. Um, <laughs> I do because it's it'll save us on power. I'll just chuck this into here, so we we'll chuck that there, and bam, bam, excellent. So we got two iridium plates. So I'll come upstairs. Oh, um. Mm. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll worry about it later. Okay, cool. Ow, there's tons of colors upstairs, and I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make... There's, like, green from biomass. There's, you know, the blast furnaces. There's the tan. Yeah, <laughs> feel, oh, feel free. To, feel free to, uh, to mess around with it however you want. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back. gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just go nuts. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're back. So we've got to build a lapis block. So you have to do that in a compressor because, well, that's what the game asks for. So you've got to do it that way. So nine pieces of lapis in the compressor. We'll leave that to work while we get on ev get onto everything else. So this is the expensive part with the UU matter. Ooh. It's the um, scenarium. So it's six. You met it as shown in some glowstone, and bam, what's happening is <laughs> that's not a very encouraging noise. Oh, I was uh, <laughs> I was digging out the uh, ground to lay down the pavement, and actually, I shouldn't do that yet. Um, but I forgot about the redstone circuits, and I passed over it, and it was about to break, and I pulled it away just in the nick of oh, time. These, these ones they take a bit longer yeah. to break, I think, but yeah. Yeah, so it scared Ziz, me. <laughs> yeah, this has been taking on the designing part of the building because he's much better than I am at that, so he's doing quite well. So yes, we have our, our lapis block there, and now we need this um, this enriched uranium, enriched scenarium, which is irradiant uranium around scenarium, and that's expensive because well, it takes a lot of dust, and I think I've made that actually wrong. That was smart of me. Try again. Hmm. I thought I got a lot more of that. 
<laughs> you thought you had more. It's always a way, isn't it? You always think you had more. Yeah, I was... Hmm. I was... A little while ago, I got at least three stacks of basalt, but I guess not. <laughs> or I misplaced it. <laughs> yeah, it's always the way, right? So now, just to finish off this... Uh, this advanced solar panel, we put our iridium plates, very expensive carbon plates. I actually think that's wrong, but we'll keep going until we until we find out <laughs> what's wrong. There we go, that's better. And our lapis block. Ooh. So this is so this uh, this hybrid solar panel is going to output 60 64 EU a tick in the sun, and um, and that's something that I'm very looking forward to. So we'll plop that down, and bam. So it looks still looks different, and it it generates 64 EU a tick, which is, um, in terms of the cost at the moment, because it's a lot easier to get uh, iridium, uh, because we can find ferrous ore and make it that way. The UU matter is actually taking us the long, longest amount of time, so by using 8 iridium and only uh, 3 advanced solar panels worth of uh, UU matter, we can actually upgrade the next 3 much quicker and get a lot more bang for our buck, I suppose, because we're increasing it by 8, but it's only going to cost us, uh, was it three eighths of the price of eight? Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's, yes, to build, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the whole point is that it's costing us a whole lot less to build hybrid solar panels from the already created advanced solar panels that we have. So we're going to do that. And hopefully that means we'll see an immediate increase in the amount of power that's being generated. Um, before, when we were looking at this, we were looking, coming into the MFEs, we were getting about... Um, ooh, okay, let's try it again. There we go, we've got 91 EU a tick, so that's not bad, that's not bad. We were getting about 144 with the 80 that was coming in from these and the thermal generators. They're currently off, but we're building up a supply of lava upstairs, so I'll quickly just run upstairs and show you that. So there, there's our lava tank, it's getting pretty full. Our, our sad, sad... Um, <laughs> our sad, sad biomass tank, which has been making all of our lava, is sort of on the low end, but we're uh, we're working to get that back on 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 go. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute and uh, speak to you soon. Okay, guys, now I'm back. So uh, this is a uh, two days later, I believe, from when we were recording before, and it's just me by myself. Um, as you can see, I've decorated my my part of the bedroom pretty well, and I've given Ziz a lot of torches. <laughs> That's it. He's got lots of torches. <laughs> so. Um, he said he will be fixing, he will be doing that up later, but uh, I'm going to jump into bed because I'm trying to get the most power I can at the moment, and I get that when it's daytime uh, from all my solar panels. Uh, and let's go into first person mode, and what I've done is, this pick is the Silk Touch Efficiency 4 pick, and I actually want to get the, uh, what is it, it's the Unbreaking book that we have, and I want to put that, there we go, so I can see it there, excellent. I've got a few levels here, so that should work. Um, essentially, I want to make sure this lasts quite long because Ziz got the got an unbreaking, sorry, a silk touch book, uh, and put that on his advanced diamond drill. So we made some new diamond drills because and bam, so there we go. So this has got silk touch efficiency and unbreaking. So a diamond pickaxe lasts for about thirteen hundred um, things, and it now lasts for about four thousand, something like that, four thousand two hundred, I think. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that while I was doing it, and this is our new elevator system. So essentially, it's a three by three block all the way up, and it allows us to pretty much go up between levels quite easily. I will be redesigning this top layer here quite soon, and as you can see, we ran out of biofuel, so we've been making it like crazy to get it back, and we've been making lava like crazy as well. Um, and yeah, so I guess I just want to take you on a quick tour of the new layout here. So essentially, we had the coke, uh, the coke, <laughs> the coke oven right here, and that's been removed. And we had the blast furnace here. So as you can see, the coke oven's right here, and the blast furnace is right there. Uh, and I don't know if you can see this very well. Actually, I'll, I'll take it away now, uh, and I'll put it back later. Uh, but essentially, I have a pump here pumping out the coke. Uh, the creosote oil into these tanks um, obviously I may need more space for them and I'll probably move that if needed but at the moment I don't need that just yet here's the blast furnace for steel which I haven't used just yet but I will uh, I've still got everything here so this is something that's going to have to be changed later um, but definitely something that this igneous extruder here is going to be um, 
its own thing. It's going to have its own spot with these uh, lava. Um, we've got these lava tanks right here, and I'll bring in some water from that aqueous accumulator that's the word I was looking for there as you can see we're building up sort of biomass again which is great um, but this has done this awesome design here so it's using these basalt pavers and pretty much there's a road here with stone and then the basalt pavers sort of show where machines are where machines aren't so guys yeah. and then um, and yeah so he's, he's sort of designed this so that we're ready to put in extensions where we needed um, yeah, I love this. It just looks so good. Obviously, we haven't gone through yet and replaced all the cobble with stone, but we definitely will at a later stage. And I want to redesign this. I'm not sure how to redesign that just yet, but I think it's going to be needed. I might move these back one. I'll move them into the wall here, so that way they're flush with the wall and it doesn't jut out. Um, yeah, essentially it doesn't jut out, so it just looks like it's part of the wall. Uh, and that way I can actually put more in as well. Um, so I think that's that's all I wanted to show for the rest of this episode. Uh, we have we have a lot of uh, year matter, so we almost have enough to make the next uh, scenario. And I just I'll be waiting on um, be waiting on more uh, iridium actually. Uh, so what we might might end up doing is there we go. There's another piece of iridium, and I'll take that tiny pile of <laughs> that tiny pile of dust there. Uh, quickly make that into another iridium ingot. So. I've been going around looking for ferrous ore, and we've doing, been doing pretty well. I think uh, I think we have four pieces with this now. We do, so we're halfway to the next hybrid solar panel. And once we get that in, I think we're going to be running pretty quickly. Um, if all comes if all comes to if all comes to worst, we'll actually all comes to worst. If anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if the worst comes to worst, is that we'll just be using UU matter to make iridium. Um, and that's using seven pieces of EU matter, which is kind of expensive because, you know, it's seven times 16 million EU, uh, whereas we can find iridium and um, iridium and ferrous ore, which we can make into iridium, which you saw there, which which is what those iridium nuggets were from. Um, but yeah, I think I'm rambling a bit too much now, but I'm pretty excited about this so far. The this area is working well. I'm trying to get um, silk touch on my pick, but or fortune, one of the two would be great. I prefer silk touch because it just makes working pretty easy. And I think uh, I think next episode we're going to work on the outside of whoops, <laughs> the outside of this building here. But Ziz and I have also been speaking about a few things, namely um, he's going to build a tower most likely here, and I'm going to build a tower either there or maybe here or over here, um, and essentially so we can see each other, be close to the communal area, and have sort of you know really really high towers so what I'm thinking of doing is building a a nine by nine tower that's going to be my sort of temple tower of doom or whatever you want to call it it's going to be red based whereas this is going to be white or blue based and that way I might put a beacon at the top of it or I might even put a beacon at the bottom of it and that way um, the effects will be felt into the sky but I think I'm rambling too much here so I'm going to leave off the episode here and I hope you guys have enjoyed what I've done today. Uh, we went and made that first hybrid solar panel, which is, if I can get around there, down there. Uh, it's pretty hard to see, but it's the top right hand solar panel. But yes, if you like what I've done today, please like my video, give us a thumbs up, um, and please provide a comment if you wish. Um, but otherwise, guys, have a good day, and I can't wait to speak to you again. See you later. See you now.